I think this whole sample pack is is really our our interpretation of what classic great big drum records sound like. Well, I always say big drums tuned high. That's kind of my personal sound. It's nostalgic and it's the roots of all music that we know of to date. Uh, I could talk for hours about how wide open drums, you know, speak um, versus like muffling them. Okay. This thing, whole. Did I say whole? Nope. It's basically like a very studied of, of our favorite band, Sabbath and Zeppelin, things like that. Just maybe a little bit more modern touch to it. And that's kind of how it, how it came to be. Me and Dave have been doing this now for um, nine years. You know, we had the option to go to other studios to make the other records, but we kept coming here because of the drum sound. It's not very big, but it's explosive. Sometimes these small rooms just sound gigantic. We've done three album, Rival Sons albums, in this room where you're sitting right now. There's blood, sweat, and tears in this room, you know? The Mayor Brother Kit is uh, the starting place. It is the records, and it sounds like those records because it's the same guy in the same studio with the same other people in the room. We pulled these out of the box, these Gretsch drums, and they sound good out of the box, shipped from Gretsch, fresh off the press, brand new. The CNC is a kit I bought a couple years ago and just fell in love with it. It's huge bottom end. It's really round sounding. It's warm, warm and big. I would say that that's the characteristic of that one. We have a 1970 Ludwig kit. It's 22, but it sounds amazing. The green sparkled. To me, that's that kit has attitude. You know, the kick drum is just barking like a like a mad dog. You know. <laughs> And um, a Camco that came into the family pretty recently, and that thing is just, I've never heard it do what it did on this one. The miking techniques, the signal pass, the compressors, the preamps, the, the Helios board, the Neve, um, all these things that we're going through here are like, so many classic records have gone through these signal paths. I chased one of these jokers for a long time. It's the old Helios console uh, from the mid '70s, and you know all my favorite records were recorded: the Zeppelin, the Who, Rolling Stones. They were all done on Helios desks. The console sounds like those records. You pull it up, and it's got a really fast transient. It's got a lot of low end, a lot really nice kind of creamy top end. So it's um, it's super easy to get there on it. You just turn the faders up, got the right players. It sounds like a record. I feel like I'm, I'm sort of with this sound, we're kind of tapping into that, that it's like a dropping into a time machine, into that nostalgic zone of really good sounding music. I left the room for a little bit and I kind of came around the corner and I, I thought for sure it was Miley playing and I didn't know it was Easy Drummer, I had no idea. It's hard to believe you got every nuance of the room in these sounds. That's what blows my mind. I don't know how it's possible. We're here in Nashville recording Vintage drums, new drums, amazing drums, which are gonna then go into your computer, and then that it's gonna go into your song, and it's gonna go on your CD, which is going into a store, which is going into somebody's CD player. It's pretty cool to be a one little link in that chain of events, you know? I hope uh, somebody who gets this writes a rock song with it, you know? Bring rock and roll back. Get dangerous. <laughs>